guys, so this is the last of my Valentine's feature. Um, starting off with Megan, which is that beautiful um, pale pink nude colour um, as a base. And we're going to do two coats of her just so that we've got a nice natural looking base for this nail. Megan is from the core collection of the Gems Gel Polish range. So two, two full coats, 60 second cure for each of them. And then we're going to do a Martha Matte before we do any design work. Um, as you know, I like to work on a matte surface. It stops my gel from running so I can use it like a gel pen. So Martha Matte on the whole entire nail, just get that piece of fluff out and then give that a full cure of 60 seconds. So the colours I'm using are Rihanna, Scarlet and Charlize. And we are literally going to paint some big love hearts on this nail. And try and almost like it, make it like a bit of a jigsaw pattern. Um, so sort of fit them in in different ways, different angles. So it fills the whole entire nail up. But just having those lines of uh, Megan coming through. So you can see these colours are very well pigmented. You don't need... A massive amount they don't need to be applied thick or anything so they're great as a as a gel paint as well as a gel polish if you want to flash cure for 10 seconds you can and that's just going to hold anything in place while you work round so now I'm trying to work out how I can get different hearts onto this nail different angles but still leave that thin edge of Megan so that it looks like a, a jigsaw piece of hearts. So this one is obviously going to be an upside down one. Just using Charlize which has got that holographic glitter in it as well as that beautiful pink. And then coming in with that beautiful scarlet which is what I've got on my thumb. Um, which is like a ruby slipper red. All these colours, uh, except Megan, Megan is from our core range, but the rest of the colours that I'm using are from the Valentine's Sweet and Sexy collection uh, from the Gems Gel Polish range. So again, if you want to flash curl just for 10 seconds so that you know you're not going to catch it with your brush or your finger or anything like that, it's going to stay while you carry on working because you know what your clients are like. If they decide to move halfway through and they smudge all that work, you'll not be very happy. So if you flash cure just for 10 seconds, it saves anything happening to that nail. Make sure that you're still working at different angles, all the hearts are going in different directions. They're not all going to fit in properly if you're working in the same direction or angle. So some of them will only have like little circles on, not going to be a full heart shape but you'll be able to work out from the end pattern what it was meant to be it's meant to be like a jigsaw of hearts different sizes they don't all have to be the same size you can work different sizes just to fill in any little gaps ended up doing one of these on a live feed the other day and I ended up putting some really little love hearts in as well um, just to fill in some gaps and that looked really nice so don't feel like they've all got to be the same size they haven't. Again just using my Barbara 2 brush this is my go-to brush always and flash cure for 10 seconds just to hold. Nearly finished we've just got a few little gaps now to fill in so with either the circle part of the heart or the pointed part of the heart, just fill in your little gaps. So 
a really cute design where you could use this as a feature nail and then on the other nails just have the, the plain colours on their own and um, it would still look really nice. So a nice feature nail for Valentine's. This is one of my favourite times of year purely because of the colours. I am very much a pink, purple and red person so when Valentine's comes around I'm happy. I get to use my favourite colours. So a full cure for that would be 60 seconds and then you need to finish off by top coating. So I'm going to use Tina Top. Um, again going to do two coats because I like a nice smooth surface and because you've done artwork on there it's not going to be perfectly smooth. So my first coat onto the nail, 10 second cure into the lamp and then next coat back into the lamp for a full 60 second cure so that you know it's had a full cure and it's got a nice curve to it, it's got a nice smooth surface to it, there's no bumps there. So full 60 second cure and then that nail's done. Hope you've enjoyed this feature guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.